Good evening, New Jersey Democrats. For supposed statewide conference of Democrats, the annual Atlantic City event seemed to be suffering from a lack of big-name support. Among the audience at last night's opening reception were a very few state elected officials, mostly rank-and-file Democrats, many here to get a rare glimpse of their leadership. Subtext for pundits? No sign of the Senate president, for one, but also some talk about party leadership battles upcoming, including at the top, where John Curry and Leroy Jones are prepared to face off early next year. Is this just the stuff that happens in a party? I think it's stuff that happens in a party. Quite frankly, it's a democracy. And, uh, you know, we'll wait and see. You know, everyone is entitled to that opportunity. Well, I would agree with him. Uh, you know, this is a democracy and this is the process that, uh, you know, we would go through. Uh, you know, let, let me be frank about this. Uh, you know, I have the utmost respect for John Curry. I always did, always will. The theme here is unity, after all, and at this morning's faith breakfast, sparsely attended as it was, there was certainly unity over one issue, the one dominating the conversation here and surely most places across the country today, impeachment. I think collectively our most important responsibility is to make sure the institutions of our country and our Constitution are appropriately safeguarded. That is more important than protecting whatever incumbent or whatever challenger. And I think we're at that moment. I hope that my colleagues uh, in the Senate, particularly in the Republican majority, will join us in getting to the truth. It's a time to be a patriot over a partisan. The galvanizing power of the impeachment threat notwithstanding, Lieutenant Governor Sheila Oliver warned her fellow party members that staying in their own intra-party silos, progressives, blue dog, Dems, etc., posed a great danger as they head into 2020. That's what happened to us in 2016. You had the stay-at-home Democrats. You had the I'm a Barack Obama Democrat. I'm not a Hillary Clinton Democrat. And Democrats, when you stayed home and did that, not just in New Jersey, but all over this country, when you did that, you got what you have sitting in 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. That's how you got that. Organizers lucked out getting Nancy Pelosi as their keynote tonight. They've been hyping her for the last two days as the most powerful woman in America. Tonight, at least, she's the hottest ticket in town. For Democrats, anyway. In Atlantic City, I'm David Cruz and JTV News.